Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rahim Avtar bringing you another tutorial today on sharpening your photos. Now the reason I wanted to do a tutorial on this is because I've seen people do it all the time. On Facebook, on Instagram, I see people trying to digitally sharpen their photos. However, the problem with that is they kind of go overboard with it. And it becomes even worse because all these digital platforms, they kind of compress your photos. All the details become accentuated in a unnatural way and it looks not very professional. This is not what you want to send to your clients. Now there are plenty of ways you can do this. You can do this in Lightroom. There are multiple ways to do it in Photoshop. However, this is how I personally prefer it. I just think it looks way more natural when you do it the way I'm going to teach you. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. So I want to show you how to sharpen your photos in two different scenarios. One being this and the other being this. Uh, the core concept will remain the same. However, there'll be some minor differences. Now, before we begin sharpening the shot, I just want to show you that this was a rather wider shot. The fact that I've cropped in has made me lose its quality more. And if I zoom in, you can see I've kind of missed focus on this. However, I'm not too worried about his skin texture because this photo is for Instagram. It's a kind of a mid-range shot, so I'm not too worried about his skin pores. So what I'm going to do is I obviously just want to focus on him and not the background. So I'm just going to create a very rough selection and I'm going to press Ctrl J or Command J. That's going to select just the subject and then I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to other and I'm going to go to high pass. So what high pass does is it brings out all the sharpened details of your edges. As you can see details in his beard. However, I'm going to boost this up. I'm going to go, I think that looks good. You can see there's a strong outline in all the details of his face. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to my blend modes right here and I'm going to click overlay. And now this is how your photo looked before and this is after. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see on your 1080p video, especially if you're watching this on your phone, but this is how it looked before after. It looks a lot more accentuated because I'm so zoomed in but if you zoom out before after you barely see any difference and that's exactly what you want to do. You don't want to make it look so obvious and now the photo looks extremely sharp and it works perfectly well. If you're looking at this other image we can see that it's already pretty sharp. There's so much skin detail already there so you obviously want to take a slightly different approach. However, what I want to do is I want to bring more focus to her eyes. I want to sharpen some more edges and because the photo was taken at a very shallow depth of field, I want to maybe sharpen her jawline a bit and some details here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. Control J or Command J. I'm going to go to filter, other, high pass. Now for this one, I'm going to go a lot more crazier because you had some parts that were completely out of focus. I'm going to go as far as 12.5. That looks okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. As you can see, it looks absolutely horrendous. Uh, there's so much detail in her skin that it does not look natural at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Alt and create a negative mask. Now I'm going to take my white brush and I'm going to paint in the areas where I want to bring the focus. So obviously I sharpen this a lot to bring more details in her jawline. So I'm going to firstly paint there. I'm going to paint here on her eyebrows, on her nose. And I want you to focus on her eyelashes. This is how they looked before and this is after. I kind of went a little overboard with it because I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on your phones or your 1080p YouTube compression, but this is how it was before, after, before, after, before, after. I obviously didn't want to paint it over her skin because there's already so much texture. So you kind of need to look at your photo and go based on that. Because I want you to learn and understand where to use it and what. This was a fairly sharp image, so you could probably pass by by not doing anything at all. But I just wanted to give you an idea. And that's about it. 
that was a quick and short tutorial on how to sharpen your photos in Photoshop. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. If there's anything you want me to cover, let me know that as well. Subscribe to my channel and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.